Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So on your Windows 10 computer, if you are receiving this update error, that is some update files are missing or have problems, we will try to download the update again later. Error code is 0x8007000D on your Windows 10 computer. So if you are receiving this error, then open Windows settings and then go to update and security and then click on check for update. Today, update KB5029331 was released. So this update is available to download. So many users after installing this update. So when you click on check for update, when you see this update, install this update. And after the installation, restart your computer and you should not receive this error code anymore. So installing this update for Windows 10 users has fixed the problem. So click on check for update and then once you find this update, you have to install this update, restart your computer and you should not receive this error code anymore. But still you are facing the error message in that case, please follow the rest of the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to run update troubleshooter for this open Windows 10 settings and then go to update and security. Now click on troubleshoot, now click on additional troubleshooters. Over here you can see Windows Update, click on it and then click on Run the Troubleshooter. Once the troubleshoot is, troubleshoot is complete, now restart your computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this and after the system restart, update your Windows 10 once again. Still you are unable to update, then the next step is to use Windows 10 Update Assistant for this. Copy this link, the link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser, it will take you to Microsoft website. Over here you can see Windows 10 Update Assistant, click on Update now. Uh, this will download the exe file, run the exe file. So run this exe file. Click on yes to allow. Now this will load Windows 10 update assistant. If there is any pending update, it will let you know. So it will check for update. And if there is any update, you can click on accept and install and after the installation restart your computer and your windows 10 should be up to date still you are unable to update in that case you can reset windows update components for this copy all these command these commands are provided in the video description so copy the command till here and open notepad on your computer so type in notepad in windows search box and then open notepad paste all the command over here now go to file then click on save as you can set the location at desktop and then name this file as wufix.bat and for save as type select all files now click on save. Now go to desktop make a right click on wufix.bat file make a right click and then click on run as administrator. Make sure that you are opening this file as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now this will open command prompt. First of all, it will stop all the Windows update services and then it will run couple of scans. Now the scan will take some time. So let the scan complete. There are a couple of scans. So the scan will take time. And once the scans are complete, it will restart all the Windows update services. And once the restart is complete, again restart your computer and after the system restart, update your Windows then once again. Now the next step is to still you are un unable to update. In that case, use media creation tool. This is the last step. So you can again go to this website. Now scroll down over here. You can see media creation tool. Click on download tool now. And once the download is complete, run this exe file. And then you will see this screen. So click on accept. And by default, upgrade this PC now would be selected. Click on next and it will start downloading Windows 10 along with the latest update. Now this process will take some time. Now before the installation on this screen, once the download is complete, on this screen before the installation you will see the screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep your personal files and app would be checked. When this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so click on install after the installation log into your computer and then update your Windows 10. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix this error code. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.